I wanted to show you one feature what I was afraid to not find in FreeCAD when coming from SolidWorks. This feature is Project Curve on Curve. It's a crucial feature which allow you to make complex surface and solid modeling. To demonstrate the tool, I will model this bicycle handlebar. As you can see, it's not a simple additive pipe operation in one sketch. The handlebar has a back sweep angle to be more comfortable. This couldn't be achieved in the regular workbenches which come by default with FreeCAD. To enable this, you have to go in Tools, Add-on Manager, and search for the Curve Workbench. Once download, it add a new workbench. Back to our case. I have already prepared the sketches of the handlebar. The front sketch is the base sketch of the handlebar with the height, the length, and the up sweep angle. The top sketch shows the back sweep angle. To be sure that the next operation will success, this sketch must be coincident with the front sketch. If there are not coincident the operation will not work. Now, select the two sketches and go on the new curve workbench. The order of selection has no importance. Then click on the icon Mixed Curve. It's basically the feature project curve on curve you find in other CAD software. It create a mixed curve but the curve is outside the body you are working on. You need to create a subobject shape binder to use it in the body. Go back to part design workbench and click on this green icon with the mixed curve selected. The binder will be created in the body and you will be allowed to use it as a path for the additive path. Now, select the tube profile sketch and the binder to create the, the additive pipe. As you can see the tube has the correct shape with the back sweep angle. You can finish the handle bar with a pad of the small profile up to the shape. Then apply a mirror operation. This operation doesn't destroy the 3D model. You can go back to the front sketch and adjust the values. Leaving the sketch will update the 3D model. I hope this feature will help you as it helps me. Thanks for your attention.